Well, on set. He's just banging a random piece of metal, isn't he? Just to piss me off. He genuinely is. <laughs> just hitting a random piece of steel to piss me off. Uh, right, so it's been a while since the last update on Van Diesel, our Grumman build for the retro race. I was struggling to make decent progress because I didn't have the seats. And until I had the seats, I couldn't work out where the steering wheel would go and therefore the column. So I focused on the cage, got as much of that done as I could. And then I finally got my seats. Uh, I went second hand to try and save a bit of money because the budget is running away. And they're great, actually. I prefer them to the new equivalent of the grid twos. So happy with those. Popped them in roughly where I felt they were gonna go still got to make the mounts for those but I've now been able to focus on the steering column and get that done arguably always going to be one of the trickiest jobs of the build because the steering rack sits so far back compared to where the original steering box was in the Grumman on the Chevy S10 chassis so we've got quite a lot of UJ's support bearings and a little bit of jiggery pokery with some mounts for all of that but we've retained this sort of housing for the brake pedal as well and I've now got the servo and the master cylinder on from the Mercedes so making good progress again which is great all works lovely lovely not not cheap which is brilliant so next up it's going to be mounting the seats and then intercooler radiator and all that jazz so lots still to do i think there's about 10 weeks left now so it's getting really really serious but kind of exciting at the same time it's actually meant to be a little bit higher than this. I'm missing a piece of wood, a critical piece of wood to position the seats. Yeah, a little bit further forward, a little bit higher up, and that's back where it would be. Snug. 